as possible. Don't put that Touch in your mouth. Ah, don't shoot me! That's against the law! The only thing you could donate would be a liver. No, you can't- What am I talking about? A kidney? Why would I say liver? Guess what we're back with? Robocop, because I only played two games at a time. I don't know how long Robocop is. I think I should have looked up how long Robocop was before I started playing it, so that I could know how long to make the videos. I had to tidy up my background for a second. I haven't watched the second or third movie yet, so I have to get on that, because this is set between the second and, th and the third movie, I only watched the first one. Like, re I've, I've watched them before, but I really can't remember them that well. So I rewatched the first one. I have to watch the second one because this is set right after the second one, I believe. And then the third one. Anyway. Let's stop talking. Let's get right into the video. No. Oh, I have a skill point. Skills. We are doing... Let's do combat. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Lady, move now, I'll out leave of my way. Alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Yes, you always find a way to help. Uh. <laughs> I want to see... Um... Are we gonna talk to I'll keep Briggs? her safe. Don't you worry about her. I doubt you're gonna do anything if something happens. But isn't um shouldn't we go talk to Briggs family? Maybe even Pickles. Pickles seem kinda close to him. What's your blood pressure? I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Stand clear, shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 615. <laughs> that was in the first movie. Uh, exactly like the first movie. I love how close they what a surprise. kept this to the movie, to the original movies. Cause I let me tell you guys. Real quick, I watched the, the first Robocop, the original one, in 1987, and then I watched the new one that came out in 2014. And the 2014 one was good as its own movie, but not as Robocop. That was not Robocop. But it was still a fun movie. Why do they need brains? All the individuals whose bodies were stolen were healthy and physically fit prior to their deaths. Apparently someone on the black market needs brains, but for what? For brain transplants? No one has made a successful brain transplant since, well, Robocop. And I don't even know if that was successful, bro. We're still trying to figure that out. Depends on how you look at, look at it, I guess, right? 
I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you're preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. You a plastic surgeon? <laughs> Hold on. I realized I had my fan on this whole time. I don't know if you guys could hear it. Um, but let me go turn that off real quick. One second. Also, who else likes these famous Amos cookies? These are my favorite. And you know, my Walmart, my Walmart at least, um, they don't sell these famous Amos cookies anymore. It's a certain, it's a certain type they sell now, a different type, and it. I don't like them, <laughs> but I can only get these off of the Walmart website, like in a huge box, a pack of like 42 or something like that. <sighs> the things you do for snacks. Anyway, let's keep it going. That's crazy. Easy that that flashback was exactly like the movie. Sounds good. Can we go through like these doors? No. Finally, I've been calling you guys for the past two days. For what? What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure. I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? <laughs> we caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Yep. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Oh, I understand. What was he talking about at the M O G? Oh, like, <laughs> why are you spelling out morgue? Wait, 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 wait. Um, let me see if there's anything else that we missed. Do you lose sleep thinking about those crippling hospital fees? Are you worried Actually, that you yes. can't pay for that heart transplant that you desperately need? Don't worry. There's always money to be found in you. Oh. Red Mart. Organ selling made easy. Come organ selling? Personalized quote. I didn't know I was worth so much. Thank you, Red Marked. Red Marked. Let's find the treasure in you. Wait a second. No. <laughs> if you need a heart transplant, you gotta basically give up one organ to receive another. The only thing you could donate would be a liver. No, you can't. What am I talking about? A kidney. Why would I say liver? You can donate a kidney. And that's about it. Like, what else would you donate? I don't know. I don't know. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me... What you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, 
Let's see how you did. I missed unwanted goods and host. Oh, the hostage res rescue. I did kill the hostage. Oh, I remember that. Whoa! I didn't even investigate Brick's squad car. And I still got a B? Whoa. Thank you for your cooperation. Um, oh, so many things to look at. We, we're gonna keep upgrading ourselves. I'm investigating everything and I'm not killing hostages this time, if that's an option. But I don't know, they die so easy, like... How am I not supposed to? Whatever, let's go. Oh, I got two skill points. Hold on. Let's use scanning. Okay. Now let's go. Oh. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in 10 minutes. Now back to work. 10 hey, minutes? What do you mean back to work? You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Is it Pickles? Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First uh. of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? I completely forgot about you, bro. Um, you did help me, you though. You helped plenty. Uh, still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. Shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. Let's you want to go. go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. In case he comes with us on a mission, I need you to know how to shoot, bro. Oh, wait, wait. I knew it was Pickles! I knew it was Pickles! I'll be back, Pickles. Hold on. Give me one second, bro. Um, Where's the range? I love the smell of this room. Should we start? Let's First, go. I want to watch you practice. I'm not that good either, Ulysses, but... Can... Can I come in now? What are you talking about? You can do anything you want. This has to be some sort of record. It is not. They made that real easy for me the first time. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. 51? Is that bad? That I took so bad. many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, uh, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Uh, Target pra Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I had to do that. Okay. 
My man's pickles is still waiting. Oh, jeez. Bro, what? Huh. What is? Is everything okay? No, your gun sucks, bro. Oh, nah. Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. Be proactive, bro. Get a different gun. What's so hard about it? A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Oh, jeez. You think we need a raise for watching over this kid? All right, let's go to our man's pickles. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes. <laughs> the food's better than in the soup kitchen. That resourceful. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just remember... If you need anything, I'm your guy. Well, as soon as you get out of here, Pickles, you will be my informant again. Um, out on the streets. But let's go back up. Let's go to the briefing room. I think we're a little not late. Not again. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. We got to do what the side is quest. It, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't realize I was talking out loud. I it's wish you weren't. Just that I need to hang Briggs' picture on the memorial wall. It's just... a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. You can't do that. Oh! Okay. Oh, um. Okay, guys, I just want you to know this is not a wall that we want to be on, okay? This is not employee of the month. This means you're dead. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know, I'm going to take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker? everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. Would everyone hate me if I just didn't do the, like, like, I'm talking about would everyone hate Robocop, like, if I didn't do the side missions? Okay, let's go do the... Unless there's something else I gotta do here. Anyone else need help with anything? Maybe you need your pencil sharpened? Why are you wearing sunglasses inside, bro? Let's go. Y'all weird me out. Yes. 
Thanks to Robocop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. <laughs> Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're on to them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. Maybe he's trying to make a second Robocop. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out. Let's go. Not that he really had a choice anyway. I was going to go do my own thing either way. But this just makes it easier. Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. <laughs> this bitch. Gonna get herself killed. This buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to keep her alive. Oh, efficiency challenge, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Show our metal friend how it's done, boys. Sure. Oh, Suspect is down. Cover me. Suspects are resisting. Push, push, push. Let me go up these stairs. Keep your eyes peeled. Because I gotta go back. Oh, see? Perfect. Oh, here.
Okay. I can't believe we're still using these things, bro. Why do they make that sound? Are they fighting with us this time? No, you didn't go I down that easy, though. Turned out to be quite intense. Ed two and nine's behaving themselves. So far, so good. You should be heading towards the ball. It's through the office area. I'm sorry. What it just happened? Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say it again. Say it again. Shoot you right now. Oh, hold on. First, this. that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Okay. Hold on, let me search here first. Letter to be framed? Andrea, in the... And the envelope is the letter I mentioned. Please frame it for me so I can keep it on my desk. I still can't believe that our noble founder wrote the, that letter to personally thank me for 25 years of my faithful service managing this bank. What a great man. What? Um, oh, a skill point. Okay, where should we put it? Oh, um, vitality. Hold on. All right. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit. A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Uh, okay, but... Ambitious plans are not a crime. Unrealistic plans are not a crime. 
but the ways by which they're pursued may be. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. Hmm. Well, they are jerks. You know what? I'll say we're on the same team because I don't like these SWAT people. You could go. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. Oh, gee, if I was well, a I bank guess... manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. Can you guys tell me where the switch is? <laughs> like, it's so obvious. Anyway, let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, let's open this door first. See what goodies we got. Oh, this is a whole ha hallway. Huh? Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. Okay. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Uh, what is this intricate device? Shut your fucking mouth! I think someone is coming. Everyone quiet. Shoot him. Oh, okay, I knew our founder would send his best. <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. He's not even thinking about his life. Engineering for a great learning opportunity for an ambitious officer. The support. Can I do that one? The support of a combat engineer's advice. An opportunity for an ambitious officer. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Oh no. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. Wait, this First guy. Aid, kidnapping. <laughs> Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule: call qualified personnel. Oh no. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. I'm scared. 
without oh here four cables green two reds and blue four cables okay so they used this kind of bomb before according to the diagram you should detach three cables start from the one with the highest voltage then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage there are two different color 12 volt cables which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Um, engineering for my database could be Based on my engineering database, I have determined that the order of detaching the 12 volt cables is irrelevant. So you knew all along? I thought you may learn something here. Okay, then start with the 24 volt connector, then proceed to detach the 12 volt cables. Okay. Uh, oh, geez, the green one. Then the six is this one, right? Ah! What? All right, let's do twenty-four, the green one. First, obviously. And then let's do the blue. We're good! Okay. And then this 12 volt one is at the bottom here. Bond disarmed, let's go! <laughs> Why'd we do that? Okay. That was kind of harsh. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Because I need to make a withdrawal. Like, now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <laughs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. This? Now out of my way. What is Becker doing, bro? What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... You should be proud Spike. to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? What is Becker's problem with us? Because I'm about to shoot him. Okay, what do we... What is this? What is going on here?
Where are the reinforcements? You're out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining fighters. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Motorcycles are not safe, guys. I just want to make that clear. There's still some there, but I don't know where. Let me go back up and see where they're at. Answer the call. I am listening, creep. <laughs> Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Hmm. Don't mess with the money. It's a cool achievement. There he is, the man who saved our pensions. Before the man who that, saved our pensions. Our would be safe in the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. All right, should we do another side mission? I think this is a side mission. We're about to I enter. I have pertinent information oh. regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Okay. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. All right, I'm sure there's some side missions as well. Hey, what's the big idea? 
piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Oh, lights out. Okay, side mission right here. Talk to Officer O'Neill. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. Who else? I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs. So now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Okay. Uh, how are we gonna get the power back on, Rubble? I mean, we Follow we just the cables. They should take you to the fuse box. We just defused a bomb, so I feel like we were capable of um, turning the lights back on. Correct. All right. Following the cables, bada bing bada boom. We gotta go downstairs. That's actually insane. Sorry, where are these cables leading to, bro? circuit appears to be misaligned. Okay. Wait, wait, I need to... That one, then that one. Okay. Those shoes boxes. They're welcome. Oh, that's Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. You're welcome. Brand new city. I'm ready for you, Robo. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what they're All right, let's see what's cooking under the hood. What's that look supposed? Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Okay, our evaluation. All right, perfect. We missed. Both secrets. That's insane. Bank intruder arrested. We didn't get that. Oh, wait, no. We we were supposed to arrest her? I let her go because she was like, she was, she was cool or whatever. She's like on our side. The challenge against SWAT team won. I didn't, yeah, I didn't win that. Okay, whatever. Got it. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? Um, I do not do it for fame. I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No, your sense of duty is what drives you. That's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Oh, I don't like any of these options here. They think that I'm not Alex Murphy anymore, so I don't want to say it's cruel. Because they don't understand, but then they're, they're also not trying to understand. Yeah, we got to make them understand. It was cruel. It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. 
As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? Um, as echoes of the past, as system failure, I cannot explain. Um, do we have system failure because of them? Uh, uh as, mm. But then would, would they shut us down? I don't know. Ooh! As echoes of the past? Let's do that one. As echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you. I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. Okay, cool. I don't know how that affects the story, if it does. I've got plenty to think about for now. We have... I always press the wrong button. We have skill points. Um, let's do... Vitality. Because we can get some health when we... Uh, what does it say? When we... Um... We can use fuse boxes to recover 50% of our health. Okay. So that's good. And then we're going to do... Um, hmm. Let's do psychology. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now... Where do we have to go? To the briefing room. I forgot. We're really stomping through here. Oh. What's this? Don't panic. Dear customer, we would like to pay... Or we would like to deny any rumors that our bank is not solvent. We promise that OCP Bank is the most prosperous in Detroit. You can rest assured that we are still the best place for your savings. Sincerely, OCP Bank Management. I doubt that. From what I saw. Oh, another side mission. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. What does that even mean? You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. I'm just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. He's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. That did not sound like I don't fun. like hazing. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. Yeah, right. Mm, imbeciles. All right. Let's go to the briefing room. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Pickles! Talk to him. And, oh... I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. 
Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. All right, y'all, I want a chair next time. I'm not standing again. Robocop! Oh, Over here! Oh, of course. You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? Now I kind of do. Ugh, but let's just get this over with. May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? We can't really say we're not interested in politics, right? <laughs> um... Nah, we need to hear both sides. I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay. Um, I hope that means we didn't side with Mills. I just want to hear his side of the story. Hey, Shiny. What do you want, Becker? How are Becker? you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Uh, whatever, Becker. Asshole. Let's go. We always make the same outro, uh, same exit time, same, what am I saying? Okay. We are still open. What is that? Where's Pickles? I need to find Pickles. Who's that standing in the, in the distance? Spike's trail. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to talk to Pickles, but whatever. Spike in the haystack. Great. Who are you? Hey you! The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Huh. Do you think it's gonna hold his weight? Doesn't matter. Now was he talking about me or the stairs? The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Yeah, it allows me to kill you right now. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You listen. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. No way he just said sorry for you not being able to see him. You did exceptional work at the bank. 
I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Mm. Any city improvements are welcome. I don't see what's so bad about it. Oh, wait, but that girl said... Mm, I honestly forgot what she said, but nothing nothing good. I am not one for statements. I'm, I'm indecided. My purpose is to fight crime, not to make statements. No, of course not. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? It is only a burden for the criminals. The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? They increase my performance. I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Um. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Lewis is getting medical attention, though. There's not much else they could do for her except wait for her to wake up, right? Okay. Police are concerned about OCP's intentions. My fellow officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. Yeah. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Doesn't seem too Take bad. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. I had to charge my camera. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. All right, where should we go near? Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Yeah. Remember to get back in touch with your informer. Pickle. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. And our favorite gas station. Hell. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Oh! That is not an excuse. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore. You could blow yourself up! Idiot. Okay. Talk to Ulysses Washington. Where are you, bro? Oh! <laughs> okay, I thought- uh, I was so confused. 
Did you put your hand up to me? Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. Uh, time to take control of your life. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I want to be my own man. Mm-hmm. Officer Washington reporting for field training. There you go. Good. You have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Please. I think that answers my question. Yep. Please, I need your help. Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that. An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. <laughs> madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. <gasps> Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working, and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low-light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Oh, this is a big mission. There. We gotta find him. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So don't you come back without him. Turn uh, lady, flashlight I need you to stop talking. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? It's no, from me. from experience. That's why you're here with me, bro. No match. Did I miss anything? Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Uh, no, let me. Stand aside. I'm just a little scared he's gonna hurt himself. Gosh, you are strong, ain't you? Let us get back on track. Sure thing. What was that? Ulysses, move, bro. Oh, move! <laughs> bro, you're pissing me off. Walk that way. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Don't put that Cuts in your mouth. on being surprised. Do not put that in your mouth, bro. What are you doing? 
What am I doing? Okay, I gotta... The fugitive has left the trail. This time, <laughs> face yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spilled paint can. The Suspect might be intoxicated. <laughs> I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh. I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. Well, maybe you should check you, Ulysses, because I'm kind of loud. You hear me stomping. I'll check. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Okay, go ahead. Go I'll ahead. let you do that. Appreciated that. There it is. It's yeah, escaping. No way, Darn it. I can't fit. You go. Ulysses, bro. It With went through here, pace. but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. You could fit through that, bro. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Like I suggested before. <laughs> Ooh, um, we can handle the door. Mm, permission granted. Go ahead. Because I don't want him to think that we're not trying. Like, he's here okay. for training, right? Here I go. It's and to show him that I he thought. could do something that we can't, like, might give him some confidence. Cool. Now, let me get that door open for you. Thank you. Who would have thunk that being small can actually have its advantages? An really eager small. police officer with a small build is worth twice as much as a big slacker. Good work, Officer Washington. Thank you, sir. What was that? Enough to rattle me. I'm afraid this time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? Oh, in here. There he is. <laughs> Why do you oh, jump down gosh, like that? Gosh, Fortune, you look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. What do I need to clean up? This place is already a mess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just supposed to... This is what I'm to clean up. Ah, don't shoot me! That's against the law! Who is this? Uh. That has to be a second clue. Okay. Bullet wound, top of the cranium. It's Washington. Do you read me? Loud and clear. What is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time and find the Look most out. advantageous location. Oh. <laughs> Officer Washington. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. I don't like this gun too much. Let's try this one. Oh, 
Where'd you go to? This one's a little smart. Shut my fucking hand up! Take this. I'm a hit! Okay. This one's moving around too much! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. How do I get through? Oh. For Saturday's lottery numbers, the winning numbers are okay. Maybe that's good to know. Sir Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. Means a lot coming from you. Oh, he was hit. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful? Where's the cat? Wait, where's the cat? Bro. Oh, okay, here. Oh, oh, I did miss something. The door on number, uh, the door number on apartment six needs fixing as it's turned upside down. The occupier's car. Okay. Anything else? Oh, the, no. I think we're good. Did we get that lady her cat back? Okay. Side mission completed. Hey Robo! Do the robot dance! Watch and learn, young man. I love that. Okay. Okay. Investigate apartment twelve. Your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase. Where are the numbers on these things? Oh, seven. Jeez. Oh, here. This arm completed. Okay. Ew. 
relevant to the case. Oh, let's take the PCB. Oh, I forgot to use that. The one that we got from Ed209. From the last mission. Secret entrance detected. Oh. Rental invoice storage unit. Da 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 da. Okay. Ooh, got a skill point. Fake ID card. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Um, police will catch the culprits. Illegally obtained evidence is invalid. Listen, girl, I told you the next time you do something illegal, I'm arresting you. You committed an illegal act. But this one's also true. Illegally obtained evidence is invalid. Your evidence is invalid if you obtained it illegally. I don't collect it for the court. I won't win against OCP there. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Mm. Uh. We've got crime evidence on there still. Um, okay. Girl, with the way these apartments are looking though, I'm thinking maybe it's in everybody's best interest if we let this old man do his thing, bro. Because this is not looking good to me. <laughs> thing. Oh, shoot. Man, it's Robocop. So what? We're just sitting here, enjoying the moment, nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Where am I? Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. I saw something here, bro. Trouble with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? <sighs> I don't even have a car. If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. Great. This is our
Is that it? <laughs> no, there's more. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Boom. OCP related. I guess we're looking for her box, right? The one that has grocery on the whatever it is. Whatever it is. Okay. I just came for a box. You guys have a good day. I know I will. Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. I thought that was Ulysses. These <laughs> things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. The box stays with me. Ooh. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. Okay. The rain texture looks a little better. Than the than it, <laughs> um, the static that it was before. I don't know what happened. I think maybe it was just glitching out. I don't know. Oh, and we have skills. Hold on. We're gonna put it in. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Now we could do that scanning thing. Where we could ricochet bullets. <laughs> so I'm guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? Yes, tell me. If there is evidence of a crime, I would like to know it. Police officer, first and foremost. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. Okay. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's grocery. Leave the box there. Okay, I'm actually glad we helped her with that, because her her family doesn't need to get involved. Let's go here and leave it. What do you mean, a dollar? It's twenty-three fifty. I have Samantha's belongings. Oh, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all in the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back, next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. Okay. <sighs> Where? Miss K. Ortiz, they're discussing you of falsifying evidence because they want to discredit you. But I don't believe them. None of us do. We understand that the media and OCP is one of is one in the same. 
Your actions will help others understand it too, so don't let them silence you. Someone has to speak out on our behalf. Someone must stand against them. Okay. Alright, so I figure we talk to Pickles and end the episode there. Um, let's see, where is Pickles? Pickles, my guy! I missed you! Oh. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Oh my gracious. Be careful, old habits die hard. Um, maybe it's time to change your ways. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Um... Escaped with the bike? Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Is Briggs the only reason you're helping me? You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Yeah. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very <laughs> presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Um, no. There are crimes happening that need attention. That's not a no. I'll be waiting here if you change your mind. That's not a no. Okay. So... I think that I'm gonna end the episode here. Um... I know we didn't... <laughs> There's just so much to do before we get the evaluation to see how I did with the missions. Um, so I'm gonna have to split it up. Um, but we will see in the next episode how I how I do with the rest of the, with the missions I already did and with the rest of the missions. Um, so hopefully my evaluation is like an A this time. I'm really hoping for an A. <laughs> but we're gonna end it the fourth episode here. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy to be playing this game. It makes me really happy. I'm about to go watch the second Robocop to catch up so that I actually have more of an idea of what's going on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.